Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla and welcome back to Doom. It's been a long day of work and I actually don't have as much time, so <clears throat> we're just gonna get into it, shall we? In the libraries of the in the libraries of the Lazarus Labs, you learned of an artifact that can sever the connection between our two worlds known as the Crucible. It seemed oddly familiar to you. Fortunately, you were smart enough not to let Hayden know your true connection to this thing. If you can retrieve the Crucible, you can use it to close the well and shut down the Argent Tower permanently from inside hell. The fond nostalgia that you want, might have had seeing being back at the Titan's realm after all this time since the Great Battle, it was nowhere to be found. Let's face it. You're not exactly the nostalgic type. That's something that I wanted to comment on when I replayed the Lazarus Labs and wondered, why the heck did they need to basically rupture an Argent Accumulator to send him to Hell when supposedly the portal to Hell created by the Argent Tower is still, fu is still active and functioning? Well, it doesn't 100% make sense, but I do remember, like, when I replayed through it, when I basically got to the Lazarus Labs and saw that last recording of Olivia Pierce talking to her followers when she unleashed the Hellwave, and Samuel Hayden says, this is why I pulled you from the Kattinger Sanctum, basically you hit a switch that says close the portal. That basically closed the Lazarus Wave portal in the Lazarus facility. That might have been an explanation, but then, if that closed the portal, what would be the reason that we're doing this thing? I really think that the true reason behind this is, is that the the Doom Slayer, John, wants to cut off all connections to Argent Energy to keep it out of UAC's hands, even if he has to destroy the well in order to do it. <clears throat> the Titan's Realm. And I was using this thing the last time I played. Oh man, I am low on armor. But the good news is, is that I basically, um... Let me just show you guys the runes. I basically upgraded the, rune, the Rich Get Richer runes, and basically now I get the bonus of infinite ammo at 75% armor. And now I'm using a saving throw, which basically allows me to basically stay alive if I am if I basically get hit with a death blow. And if I can kill ten demons while in that state, then well, I'll power it up. Environments. This is the one that I didn't find. This is the codex entry that I didn't get a chance to read. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Construction of the Advanced Research Complex was completed in MTC 2136. This vast state-of-the-art research design and production center uses cutting-edge technology and fabrication techniques to prototype everything from robotics to weaponry to subspace communication systems the, uh, to subspace communication systems. Sorry, I have the hiccups. The building security, the building security, life support, and day-to-day -day operations are almost entirely managed by Vega, the Argent Facility's in-house artificial intelligence mainframe. Due to the highly sensitive nature of the research being conducted at the ARC, the entire superstructure is essentially a Faraday cage to prevent any unauthorized communication beyond its walls. Faraday cage, I'll have to look that up. The ARC is the birthplace of several breakthrough study fields, including BFG development, teleportation, re teleportation research, and cybernetic augmentation. This bastion of advanced thought attracts the brightest minds in the scientific community and is considered humanity's brain trust. So, basically like what that recording at the BFG uh, division was saying. <clears throat> Anyways, 
As for my weapons, I basically took the liberty of upgrading the remote detonation on my rocket launcher. And believe you me, this was harder than it seemed, because shooting it into the group of uh, a possessed was one thing. Exploding it at the right moment in order to take out all three was something else entirely. And I also got the precision bolt for the Gauss Cannon. I don't know if I actually showed myself getting that on screen or not, but now I can start focusing on upgrading the remainder of my weapons. And... Hmm... Well... I have a feeling that, well, holy crap, I think that I might only have one field drone left to find, and it'll probably be in this level, so... Oh, two field drones, I'm sorry. I should start working on this one. I completely have reject- neglected the plasma rifle, so you know what? I'm just gonna basically, like, um... And now I need five. Heated core. Generate heat passively without needing to spend ammo. Alright, now let's check my objectives. Trick shot. Kill a lost soul with another lost soul. That is going to be a trick shot. Hmm. I think that they explode when you hit them backwards, so that's the explosion that I need. Perform death row mountain glory kill on a baron of hell. Easier done than said. Dominator. Kill 20 demons while using power-ups. Oh. Oh, damn. And there are no runes to find. Only two elite guards? <sighs> Hell. The Titan. Looks kind of familiar to where Betruger sent us, didn't it? A lot of people theorize, but this entire area would have to be changed. Maybe there were other titans that fell before our might. The age of um, sorry, I was wanting to check the map. Well, I don't see any secrets up here, and I'd see them if they were. His reckoning was uncounted. The scribes carved his name deep in the tablets of hell across eons, and each battle etched terror in the hearts of the demons. He always will to feast on the blood of the wicked, for he alone could draw strength from his fallen foes, and ever his power grew swift and unrelenting. This backstory that they gave for Doom Guy in this game, it's 100% fan service. It only 100% makes sense if you take the player into account. Literally speaking, the player, they'll always come back. The player will always play whatever Doom game comes along, and thus, wait, Doom guy always comes back. So, Geronimo! I think I blasted his arms off. Gimme armor. <laughs> I love doing that.
Oh, come on. You couldn't hold on for two more seconds, you wimp. You come back to life and let me kill you proper! Okay, um... Well, that guy went right through me. Goes right through me every time. Ah, oh, great. Here they come. Those lost souls are going to be the death of me. Right. Hell works like a maze. So... Jesus. Didn't know that was there. Just basically checking. Yay. Didn't even have to look. Anybody else notice that there's now an hourglass right next to my health meter? I don't know what that means. I feel like it should be tied in with the whole armor thing, but I don't know, like, to what capacity. <gasps> and there's the droid. Oh, well, that's lovely, that is. Just like old times. It's a bit... It's about a month late, but happy Valentine's Day. Pinky! This would be so much easier if I could grab them, like in Portal Doom. Hmm, that's probably it. That was actually kind of scary, the way that he came at my face like that. Thank you, boys. You've been most helpful. that one. Unless it's one of those ones that you have to walk up to. Nope. Okay, I'll take it. Let's see. Yep, there's only one left, so... Your job is done now, droid. 
Oh wait, there's two left. Dang it. Blah. Hand it over. Stun bomb. Modification condenses multiple plasmas into a single pulse. The resulting discharge exceeds the Fahrenheit limit, creating a string of Birkeland currents. The resulting fragmentary structure will incapacitate any target caught within the radius for a few seconds. This modification requires cooling between uses. Hey, check it out, eh? Well, you really just came on up there, didn't you? Oh, come on. I like mancubuses. They pay out twice as much. Ooh, I forgot. I've got got to get the Dominator. The thing you gotta be careful about this whole armor buff, about this whole uh, it, unlimited ammo thing is that just because you have unlimited ammo doesn't mean that basically your ammo is completely refilled. God damn it. I think he got legs. I think that this is like the, um, the siphon grenades. Yep. Well, that's not suspicious. But first I'm going to give it the old Navy ones over, now that everything is dead. Things tend to die a lot in my field of work. I don't get it. Why is that area even beginning to blue in if I haven't even touched anything over there yet? Uh, 
That's just cruel game. Well, I got a teleporter. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I thought that blood fountain wasn't him for a second. Just a jackrabbit, folks. Just a jackrabbit. Hey! Check it out, eh? Wrong one. That is a huge modification, really. So, I just got a question for you guys. Do you guys ever get tired of blood? Like, do you guys ever kind of wish that someone would just come in and just mop all this stuff up? Oh, congratulations, you killed a bunch of imps. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over that hole I made in your fat stomach! Hold still! Seriously, it's like you're afraid to die or something. I don't get it, why should anybody be afraid to die? It's only gonna hurt for a moment, and then it stops hurting forever. I'm gonna do it. Especially with these assholes here. Oh great. There's a toxic one. Alright, Toxic Avenger. You just became my new favorite hobby. <laughs> okay, he's here. The other red guy is here. Oh, come on. I need to equip, re-equip that one that basically makes them more, like, glory kill friendly. Bye-bye! Whoa! That was different. That's cheating! That was... I gotta admit, that was actually a clever move. You are a clever duck. And it didn't give me what I needed anyway. So, now I'm gonna have to fight him with my wits. And by wits, I mean a rocket launcher. Keep your wits about you. Trapped to your shoulder. Oh no. 
That would have been perfect. Now I can't tell which of them is... That purple light... I already got the quad. Well, now I know for sure. I think I'm confusing him. Hey, Steer. Now, come on. Come on out of there. I can't glory kill you from if you got a roof over your head. Going up. I am not happy. That sh totally should have count counted. Now. Auto map. What? Eh, you've experienced this kind of stuff before, John. Let's go. I thought that I was over there. What the hell is this here? Is that the Doom Bible? Well, I found cake, but I thought it was a lie. You know, what's that? that's actually kind of ironic, because we had a birthday at work today, and, like, uh, everybody had cake. I don't know what it means, either. Happy birthday. Okay, that was odd. Were those the kids from Five Nights at Freddy's, only now they're in hell? Ah, uh, that confirms that Five Nights of Freeze is totally connected to the Doom universe. Imagine if those birthday supplies were literally the only thing that John kept from his time on Earth. Commander Keen? Yep, teen guy! And it's the BFG model. Awesome. If those birthday supplies were the only things that John kept from his time on Earth, and thus, like, because he was living in hell, he decided to set them up as kind of like an effigy for himself. Because that's how lonely he got. Happy birthday to you. You gave up everything. Okay, this works for me.
Not gonna lie, that kind of made me feel like a prick. Especially since I was intentionally trying to group my shots there. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm maxed out on armor now. Wow, this was easy. Is this silver guy? Yep. Silver guy. Nice chrome finish. Silver guy, the cyber demon model. Impressive. Basically just a smaller version of the Titan skull. We don't want to go to war today, but the Lord of the Lash says nay, nay, nay. If I've gotten to a point where I literally have to turn back and go around, I don't know, I'm just going to be <laughs> irritated. Especially since I have no idea where the secret level in this place is. It's hell, I don't know why hell gets secret levels. There are doors beyond doors here. Halls beneath halls. Yes, we have to move the gold. Move the gold further underground. Well, something must have unlocked. Like I said, hell is a maze. Hell, hell is for children. I have a feeling that this is what John did to fill up most of the time in his day. I mean, what else is there to do in hell? Jump around, parkour, and solve hell's puzzles. Hey, uh, buddy. You didn't happen to have seen anything, did you? Also, if the Lazarus Wave is what killed all of you guys on Mars, then what the hell killed you? If an Elite Guard tells you you will be going to Delta Labs, you will be going to Delta Labs. Holy crap, this guy must have been huge. Maybe the door all the way over here is opened. No? Uh,
Okay, the hyenas are here. That makes sense considering all the green light that's around. Big King, undisputed, respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am. You know, strangely enough, I actually kind of like the quiet of this episode, or of this particular level, because the atmosphere it actually is kind of making me a slightest bit tense. Aha! Ingenious. They hid it behind the one thing I wanted most, but something that I would never actually go for. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice the trap. This is basically like Brutal Doom, wait, Doom 64 all over again. <laughs> Of course. Well, come on, come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet the young man who will give you a scar. Well, that quieted them down. I'm gonna totally run into toxic mancubi here. So, let the Gauss Cannon kick it. <laughs> and that'll be what I go for. Well, I found both the Elite Guards. So, before I throw that switch and allow all hell to break loose, Huh. I really hope that they don't screw me over on how many of these things are left. The Titan's Realm. After the disastrous Project Lazarus Manned Expedition MTC 2145-2128, it was decided to avoid Kattegar Sanctum until the environment was more conductive to human exploration. So you're basically waiting for the envi environment to change? to become more explorer-friendly to you. You can always just send Dora in. <laughs> an, er an area referred to as the Great Step. Wait, wait, the second Lazarus, the second L Project Lazarus Manned Expedition, MTC 2184-77, was changed to a new location, an area referred to as the Great Step. The Korax tablets describe this area in detail. Through the Titan's realm and down, down to the Great Step, where the trophies of victory are kept through the ages. Their false idols banished to a wasteland, their towers fallen, their foundations ground to dust. 
their hollowed halls kept empty as cruel reminders that civilization shall fall before the ascension of the Great Ones. Alright. A pilgrimage. If you are one of the lucky disciples who will get to experience a pilgrimage to hell, there are some preparations that you must make for your journey. You must make sure that all of your affairs are in order before leaving. So make sure you leave a last will and testament with our, with our UAC lawyers. They are to be trusted. You'll probably run into them while you're on the other side as well. <laughs> Donate all of your belongings, including any security-controlled materials, to a Tier 2 advocate and record any final logs you may wish to make. Your savings and assets will be used to fund additional UAC research. So it's literally a ma it's literally mandatory that if you volunteer for this mission, you have to treat it as if it is a definite thing that it's going to be a suicide mission. You literally have to donate all of your uh, personal belongings to somebody else and you have to give your savings and assets to the UAC. <laughs> These people are assholes. <laughs> For the expedition itself, you may wish to consider sedation. <laughs> So they want you to go through hell, and they offer you the chance to get doped out of your mind while doing so. <laughs> Advocates can get overwhelmed during their transition, and a medically administered balancing agent can help ease the excitement. <laughs> Lastly, prepare your mind for the wonders you will experience. Seeing the remains of a titan is an experience that will buckle the knees of most steadfast of the most steadfast advocate. If you are lucky, you may even get to see a live Titan. If you do so, you must record the sighting immediately and hand your short storage devices to a scout bot for safety. It is not known if any Titans still in inhabit the Great Step, so if you get the chance to be a sacrifice to one of these massive beasts, take it. You people are crazy. You people need help. But I honestly think that you're beyond saving at this point. You guys deserve what you get. <laughs> right, time to scream. I think I don't think they even teleported in. I think they were just there. That, to me, looks like it could be a secret area. That's the Phobos Anomaly. I'm sure of it. Which means I'll be coming back here. Turn the pig around! You guys can't make it over rough terrain, can you? I'm getting my armor back. This could be one of the final ones we get. <clears throat> the pinky. They're the P to the inky to the P to I to E. 
Pinkies will charge once their prey is detected, using a cortical bone plate that covers their face as a battering ram. They accelerate quickly, but have limited control when charging. Their inability to stop quickly or turn makes them vulnerable to charging over ledges or into hard surfaces, stunning them. At close range, the pinky has a significant bite that will use which it will use to fend off attackers. They have limited visual perception and rely primarily on pheromone detection to locate enemies. The thinner skin on their flanks does not offer much protection and should be considered a point of weakness. Nod carcasses of pinkies have, ex have been extracted from portals, suggesting that they are considered a delicacy in hell. Yeah, I basically had to take to partaking for a, few for a while in order to survive while in hell. You'd actually be surprised. Roast Pinky does taste a lot like ham. I like to imagine that even if Hell does have poison, Hell does have kind of like a poisoning effect on whoever chooses to eat anything from it, then, well, effectively, John's uh, enhanced um, what immune system will keep him safe from it. It would be great if that's where the lever was. Let's go find out, shall we? Well... I had a feeling that that was gonna be deceptive. What is this? Tricks and traps? Come on, guys. That was over 20 years ago. <laughs> Two for one. Hey, you hear about the Slayer? Yeah, that's who we're going to fight right now. Uh, how many of our guys has he killed? Well, let's see, uh, but the, 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 the carry the two, I'd say, uh, 782, I think. 783, 784. You know, I'm beginning to think that we can't take this guy. What? Don't be ridiculous. He's just one guy. An excellent point, sure. But that one guy is systematically killing all of us. You know, I don't even think that we even need to be here. Like, if we just disappeared, who else would even know? Like, we could just slip away right now and still live. Please, don't be... He's such a chicken. We've got this. Genius. Of course, if they were smart, they would have just trapped me up there with that. <laughs> A little rusty. I'm running out of time for this.
But, since that basically clearly wants me to move forward, I'm going to take the opportunity to move backwards. <laughs> yep. Pinkies? It's the Phobos Anomaly. I love it when I'm right. Which is always. Don't forget that. That's li like, literally speaking, I've got managers at work that basically don't know how to do some of the stuff that I know how to do. And he's like, wow, I didn't even know that was a trick. You should be a manager. And that's what I basically told him. 99% of the time, I'm smarter than 99% of the people in this building. And it's true. I'm basically maxed out right now. Should I leave this here? Uh, it's not going anywhere. Only if I get into real trouble, I'll remember to come back for it. These were... never mind. Had to lose, like, three armor pieces on that, but... Oh. Dumb doofy doof. I need a Baron. Really? No takers? Fresh meat! Now this is how you stylize. My ass is here for the taking. Hello? Nobody wants a nibble? Please, tell me, you guys... Tell me that you guys don't want a taste of this fine ass. This fine-toned... Doom Slayer Super Soldier ass. Up, oh, I got takers. Spectres. Now they're not. Awesome! I got it! Don't know how I got it, but I got it. I probably don't deserve it, but hey, what can I say? I don't deserve a lot of things. Like everything that happens to me while I'm at work. No human being deserves to go through that. getting my armor back. I really want a death animation where you basically pry the thing's jaws open and pulls and tears it in half. You know, like in Brutal Doom. Boink. And I want one where he jumps onto the mancubus and just pops and just basically like bonks it on the head and basically like just completely crushes its neck. Aha! I've been waiting for you. Now look, I've got a long way to go, you are gonna take me there, and you're not gonna give me any shit about it. I blew his head off! Man, why do you have to be so weak?
I'm in a bad mood. All I want to do is friggin' drop on a knight. Right, got the blue key. You know, it's a shame that they never brought back trites, because bringing back the skull keys could have been interesting. Uh, an interesting thing to do with the trites is that, well, what if a trite was disguised as one of the colored keys? So you reach out to grab it, suddenly it grows leg, it turns over, grows legs, and crawls away. And what if you actually had to chase it down because it really was the key? Now, how do I get back up there? Preferably, not walking into a puddle of fucking acid. This is tricky. Oh, I'll take it. I said I'll take it. I'm already maxed out? But I could have sworn that I popped one off. There be something up there that I missed? No, just the one secret? Maybe a portal opened up somewhere down here?
big, dumb, doofy doof. Well, since I just got that checkpoint, I basically have been at this for over an hour, so I think that basically it's best that we cut this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment on the comment section below. Share, like, and share with your friends. If you want to keep up to date with more videos of me being a complete idiot, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. Like, you're frustrated looking around for where you need to go, only to realize that the solution was right in front of you the entire time. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later!